Hi, I'm Andre, and it's here! It's finally been announced after so many months of real rumors, fake rumors, real tech specs, fake tech specs. My uncle works at Nintendo. It's finally out! Our first look at the NX, now officially called the Nintendo Switch. Hey, 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 Nintendo Switch, huh, huh, turn it back now, hey! Please get Will Smith to do the commercial for Nintendo Switch, that would be so awesome. So what is the Nintendo Switch? It is a brand new Nintendo console that is a hybrid of being a home console and a portable console. So what you have at home is you have a base that the console, which is what they're calling the screen, goes into. When that console is in its base, you can actually play the games on your TV at home. We see some footage of a guy playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. He's using a controller to play the game, but then when he wants to go on the go, this is where it just gets crazy. So the controller that he's using has two pieces that you can actually take out. So those are called, and these are official names from Nintendo, the Joy Controller or the Joy Con. And there's a Joy Con grip that it attaches to. So you can take the two sides of the controller out, one side being one analog stick and the directional buttons, the other side being a second analog stick at the bottom now instead of the top. So almost like the Xbox one Xbox 360 style with the A, B, X, Y at the top. And then those pieces can attach itself to the screen light console. Then you can pull that out of the base and now your Nintendo is portable. Oh my God. I mean, this is the things that we've kind of been hearing about through some of the rumors, but still to see it in action, to see that you can actually take pieces of a controller and attach it to a screen. And that is now your console on the go blows my mind. We also find out how the game is going to be stored. It looks like it's some kind of SD card-esque type of setup similar to what the Nintendo 3DS has. We now see that there is some kind of physical form that you can get the games. Although I would not be surprised if there's still some kind of digital form as well because that's the direction we're heading a lot with games. No word yet on how that's going to bring some compatibility to either the Wii U or 3DS. There's no specs on this thing yet, so we don't know if there's going to be any kind of internal storage on the console itself. I would assume there'd be something, but we don't know what or if they're going to be different levels. Like, can you buy different levels of console storage? Kind of the same way that you can do that with iPhones or iPads. Who knows? But what we do know is that thing is portable. Now here's where it even gets crazier. So they show a part where this guy is on a plane, right? So he puts down the, the console, which is the screen. It has a kickstand on the back so you can actually prop it up. And then dude takes the two sides of the Joy-Con, pulls them off of the screen, and now he can play like this with one being in one hand and one being in the other hand. Oh my gosh, what? This is some futuristic Jetson stuff right here. And then when you go home, you can take those two pieces, put them on the Joy-Con grip, and that's a controller that you can play with at home. But there's also a Pro Controller that we saw in this. And the Pro Controller can work at home, or you can actually bring the Pro Controller with you on the go, kickstand or prop up the console and then play with the Pro Controller as well. This, I mean, Nintendo. And I'm thinking, okay, how can it get crazy in this? All right, check this out. They show a part where two guys are playing on one screen and they literally each have a side of the Joy Controller tilted to the side because when you tilt it to the side, both of them have an analog stick and four buttons. It's just one has A, B, X, Y, and the other has the directional buttons, but they work the exact same. They made the directional buttons basically look the exact same as the A, B, X, Y. So you can have multiplayer going on on one screen using both sides of the Joy-Con. That is insane. And then on top of that, they show that you can also have them locally wirelessly connect. So if multiple people have Nintendo Switches, y'all can get together and play against each other. They showed playing NBA 2K with two separate screens and two people on each screen. They also had people playing Splatoon where four people were playing each other. And then there was all of a sudden this uh, remake of The Wizard showed up where everyone is playing Splatoon in a tournament and everyone's cheering in the stands. I could see a lot of people still bringing their pro controller with them and playing with the pro controller. But at least just having the option of having that Joy-Con on there as well. I'm going to have to get used to saying Joy-Con. But at least having that option there is nice too. Especially especially if you want to do any split screen multiplayer or something like that. They showed a woman playing a Mario game and then her friends were right across the way. <laughs> Silly commercials. They're like, come on over, we're having a cookout. She's like, great, I'll bring my Nintendo Switch with me. And she pulls the console out of the base and the game is immediately where she left off so she can continue the game on the go. 
That is something I have been talking about for so long with Nintendo that I thought would be such a great idea because I love the Wii U games, and I love the 3DS games, but it always annoyed me that they were separate. I really have always thought how great it would be if you could play a game on Nintendo Wii U at home and then somehow be able to take that with you on the go. A lot of people were even thinking that's what Wii U was going to do. So to have this now with Switch, that is awesome. To have one game, so all your data, all your save, all your everything you do with that one game, now is the same game you're playing with at home and wherever you're going as opposed to having the Wii U version and the 3DS version of a game. I, I love it. Oh my gosh. I just, I just, this is just amazing. I'm just, I'm really, truly impressed by this. I mean, this is like a home console, a portable console, an iPad. It's like everything, man. It's just insane to me. This commercial, I'm not gonna lie, showed me every way I could possibly use this. It showed me how I could use it when I'm at home. It showed me how I could use it when I'm on a plane. It showed me how I could use it when I'm in my hotel room at a convention, if I'm hanging out with friends. Let's just be real though. I'm gonna use it in the bathroom and so are you. You know you're gonna do it. I have strategically put my Wii U in my place to be close enough to my bathroom so the Wii U gamepad will work when I go in there. Now I don't have to worry about that with Nintendo Switch. I will not be touching anyone else's Nintendo Switch though. I will not put my hands on your Switch unless you sanitize that thing first. Bring you some baby wipes. Don't you judge me because you know you're gonna do it too. You know you're gonna be Breath of the Wild and while you getting some Breath of the Wild from your backside coming out. You'll be playing Mario Kart while you be double dashing. Splatoon works both ways. Super Smash Brothers Melee! That's why they should have called the Wii U the PU, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Did you notice something that was missing from the Nintendo Switch commercial when you watched the whole thing? You saw all these people playing around with it. You saw people at home. You saw people on the plane. You saw people hanging out with the friends. You saw this tournament that was happening. You saw the cookout. But you notice who was not in the commercial? Children. There is not a single kid in this entire commercial and i think that was done on purpose Have you ever seen a wii u commercial lately they are so marketed towards kids it's literally like a guy going hey kids mario and kirby have new games come check them out wii u hey all right now back to your new episode of miraculous ladybug like that's how they do the commercials nowadays nintendo switch is clearly trying to cater to that Apple crowd. They saw what people are doing with their iPhones and their iPads and their tablets and their Surface Pros for Microsoft people. And they are like, that's who we need to hit. We need to hit late teens. We need to hit millennials, older Nintendo fans, people who are in their teens and 20s and 30s or whatever, people that who are on the go, adults, young adults, people with disposable income and give them something that's a little bit more powerful, but still accessible. And this is the way to do it. And I think it's a smart move for Nintendo specifically. This is something that works great for that brand. I like that Nintendo is trying to be a little bit more mature. They're not doing the mature like, hey, every game has blood in it, but they're doing the mature like, hey, this could be a part of your everyday life. I like that. That is smart. Now let's talk about some of the games that were featured in this. Now, usually with these types of things, we do get demos, so it's not confirmed or denied that some of the stuff that we saw in this trailer are actual games that are coming out, but I'm willing to bet there might be some clues in there. So of course we saw Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's a given. We know that one's coming out, but they show Mario Kart footage. Look closely at that Mario Kart footage. First of all, King Boo is one of the racers. King Boo is not in Mario Kart 8. So either that means that we're getting a brand new Mario Kart or this could be some kind of upgraded version of Mario Kart 8 that could be giving us new stuff specifically for Nintendo Switch. The other thing I noticed about the Mario Kart footage, look at the items. There's a big circle with an item, but there's a smaller circle attached to it that can hold a second item. Again, that is not in Mario Kart 8. We also saw a Super Mario game. It was a 3D Super Mario game and didn't look like 3D World to me. I also noticed that when the woman was playing the Mario game, they did a shot of the Nintendo Switch and there was a little Mebo just sitting right beside that, that thing. I don't know how they're going to do it, but clearly this thing is going to have some Amiibo support. Amiibo has made Nintendo so much money over the last couple years. There's no way they're abandoning that just because they got this new console. Amiibo is here to stay. The graphics on all these games looked a little bit sharper than the stuff we've seen on Wii U, particularly about Splatoon. That Splatoon footage looked a little bit sharper and crisper than the Splatoon footage I remember from Wii U. Some of those haircuts looked a little different. I think that's a new Splatoon. I, that's me, I'm just I'm just guessing, I'm theorizing, but I think all those were either demos that they were wanting to just show how it looked, or these could be 
little teases of possible future games, of future Mario Kart, of future Mario, of future Splatoon, which would make sense if we already saw Zelda. Man, how crazy would it be day one all this drops? I don't think that's gonna happen, but that would be insane if they were just like, day one, you get a Zelda, you get a Mario Kart, you get a Splatoon, it's already ready. Nintendo, drop mic. That'd be awesome, Reggie, do that. Oh, and did you see them third parties up in there? We got Skyrim footage, we got NBA 2K footage. And if you look at the official press release for the Nintendo Switch, there is a long list of third party developers who are on board with this thing. And it makes perfect sense. If this is a straight up game playing device, there's no wacky gimmicks with motion control and all this other kind of stuff, then it makes it a lot easier for companies to be able to transfer a game they're already making for PS4 and Xbox One onto something like Nintendo Switch. They haven't, again, given the specs, so we don't know how much powerful it is compared to the other consoles, but I would imagine it has to be powerful enough that even if you have to make a less graphical version of it than the others, it's not that much of a downgrade. This is great because this means that a lot of major third-party titles will be able to be on Nintendo Switch, and Nintendo Switch is gonna now have that extra selling point of, hey, well, if you buy the game on our system, you can now take that with you. Those 100 plus hours of Skyrim can now be played on the go as well as at home. That could be a big incentive for some gamers. And that's the thing, I know people always wanna get wrapped up about, well, is it as powerful as the Xbox One, the PS4? We're getting to that point where you can't keep impressing people with graphics because you can't have that big upgrade like we had back in the days with 8-bit and 16-bit. We're seeing so many indie titles being super successful and graphics are not the reason for it. That's why all of them are doing something gimmicky right now. We got the 4K stuff going on. We got the virtual reality. Every console is trying to figure out a way to be a little bit different or release a new console every couple years, <laughs> you know? So Nintendo, this is their gimmick. Okay, let's create one console that's at home and on the go. That's what you do. You gotta figure out a way to keep yourself in the game. Is this the replacement for the Wii U and the 3DS? Well, I think for the 3DS, you're okay for now. I mean, there's a lot of 3DS units that are out there. There's games that have been announced for it all the way up to spring of 2017. I think for right now, you cool. I think over time, we're gonna see slowly and slowly less 3DS games. And eventually what I see could possibly happen is the next fully portable console, maybe a mini version or a different version of the Switch that maybe is not one that gets connected to a base at home. Maybe it's just fully portable, but it has the same functionality as a Switch, so therefore the games that you're using for the Switch would also work on a fully portable version. I could see that happening. I don't know why that would need to happen because the Switch itself is portable, but if for some reason they want to make a smaller version of the Switch that for some reason is just more portable, I don't know, <laughs> then I could see something like that happening. But either way, I see any future thing that's happening within this Switch era, the Switch generation of Nintendo, they want to have one game to rule us all no matter where you're playing it. So 3DS, you cool right now, but eventually over time. Wii U, however, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I think with Wii U already being announced that they're not making any more units, that there haven't been any future announcements for Wii U games in 2017, other than Legend of Zelda, which is also coming out on the Switch. Uh, yeah, man, uh, I would say Paper Mario Color Splash. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Nintendo's official thank you, good night to the Wii U. Even Project Sonic knew Wii U was done <laughs> when they make that fake NX logo. Now you gotta go back and change that trailer and make it say Switch. <laughs> now you got the official logo, Sega. You can use it in your next Sonic trailer. Is Wii U in any kind of way compatible with Nintendo Switch? Since Wii U is a disc, clearly that's not gonna match. Whether it's a data transfer, whether it's an upgraded version of the original game that now becomes a new game for Switch. Now the question becomes what happens to the Wii U games that had touchscreen or dual screen capabilities? There are no scenes of anyone using the Switch as a touchscreen in the trailer and Nintendo hasn't said anything about whether it is touchscreen or not. If this is going to have any compatibility with Wii U, some game is gonna be easier to transfer than others. I really hope that they have some really kind of cool way of saying, hey, if you're one of those few people and we do mean few, that had a Wii U, here's a way that you can still enjoy some of the stuff you got from Wii U on Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna already predict that this will be more successful than Wii U. I, it, it has to, I mean, I mean, that's not a hard thing to do, but, but I like to at least think that that's what's gonna happen with this thing because I am thoroughly impressed. I just wanna get some more details of how exactly this thing works. Let's get that Nintendo Direct to get the information, but I am super duper impressed with what I saw with this, just this trailer alone. I'm ready, March 2017, no exact date, but March 2017, I'm ready 
for the Switch. <laughs> the Nintendo Switch. What do you think of Nintendo Switch? Is this a must have for you? Or are you still kind of like, eh, I'm good. Thumbs up this video. And if you're new here, please subscribe because I make videos all week, every week. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Addy 5000. Chain Chomp Yelp.